What's up, the Comic Coalition here for another video for you guys today. Now, once again, I jumped the gun. I was a little too excited. I couldn't wait for the video. And I had to go ahead and unbox my Brawly Funko Pop. Um, this is one of the most hyped items from SDCC this year, especially when it comes to shared exclusives. This got sold out really quick. Luckily, I was early enough to grab me a Brawly. Um... <clears throat> I've already touched basis on this guy a couple of times on my channel. If you haven't watched those videos, go ahead. But I'm in love with the pop. They did an excellent job with him. One thing, though, like I said before, if I would have had a gripe with the Brawly, is I would have wanted him to be around the same size as Thanos here. Now, you see, Thanos, Thanos is a common pop as well. But he's just a humongous common pop. Brawly, even with his hair, is not the same size as Thanos. Which, I mean, all in all, I'm okay regardless. I'm not that picky of a person. But if I could change one thing, or if I had one small gripe, I would make him just a little bit bigger to be about the size of Thanos. Not a six inch pop, but a huge common pop. Either way, he's still an awesome piece to have in your collection. You definitely want, don't want to miss out on this guy. This might be one of your only opportunities, if not your only opportunity, to get the original Brawly Funko Pop. Like, the original Brawly in his original form. Because I know there is a new Dragon Ball Super movie coming out, which I'm definitely hyped for. If you guys have not watched that trailer, you need to go watch it. But the new Dragon Ball Super movie coming out basically focuses around Brawly. And Brawly has a little bit of a different design in there. So I'm thinking... Um, the next Broly Funko Pops we get in action figures and all that stuff are going to start leaning towards the new design and your older design Broly figures, you know, are going to be harder to find. So definitely do not want to miss out on this guy. And if you still have some type of opportunity to grab this guy, I will go ahead because he's going to skyrocket in value. I know a lot of people pass on these pops. They're like, oh, they're $35 now on eBay and stuff like that. And they don't want to pay it. But if you missed out. And you're going to want to buy him next year to complete your Dragon Ball set. And he's going to be 120 something dollars like it happens. I'm telling you guys you need to go ahead and get him. But this is what I was most excited about from Comic-Con. Out of everything they had, Taika, Wa Taika Waititi, anything, you know, all that stuff. I'm a true Funko collector. I collect what I love. So I get hype. I get most hype about what I love. And Yamcha is one of my beloved Dragon Ball Z characters. I love him. I named my dog after Yamcha. Um, Dead Yamcha is just iconic. It's like a meme. It's, you, everyone knows about Dead Yamcha when he gets killed by the Cyberman. And Yamcha always goes out bad. He always goes out bad, but he always has the heart to fight on. And for all of you who talk crap about Yamcha and how, you know, he kind of, yeah, he, he's not as powerful as the Saiyans and other people in Dragon Ball Z and in Dragon Ball Super. But if you go back to the OG series, Dragon Ball, Yamcha, Yamcha kicked a lot of ass, I'm telling you. He definitely did his fair share of ass kicking. Now, if you're wondering, this Metallic Beer is here. I'm not going to be unboxing this for you guys. I kind of just put it here for decoration. But I do have it. What I do not have is that Metallic Weiss. Did, were any of you guys a, able to pick up the metallic weiss? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're one of those troopers that sat online for three, four hours, or what, however many hours on the day that Funimation was supposed to drop them, and you went through the conundrum and the craziness of it all, let me know in the comments below because we are survivors. We made it through. We're still here alive today without our metallic weiss. And, you know, we're living to tell our story. So tell your story in the comments below. But, all in all, like I said, I was most excited about this piece from San Diego Comic Con. I simply could not believe that Funko was doing this. This is one of the only pops from San Diego Comic Con this year that I thought felt like a Comic Con exclusive. A lot of the pops, even though this Brawly, which I mean, like I said, I love this Brawly, it doesn't seem kind of like a Comic Con exclusive. It seems like something that would be like a general release. Or maybe like a Hot Topic exclusive or something. Um, 
Usually, usually for me, SDCC exclusives are usually like something unique about them, something different, you know, something like this. It's not a regular Yamcha, it's a dead Yamcha laying in a different pose than you would usually see in a Funko Pop. Things like that is what's significant for Comic Cons for me because that's when you get, you know, even more detailed pops are, you know, experimentations, pops where you usually wouldn't see like them in certain stances and stuff. That's what you get from Comic Con usually. But this year, I felt like there wasn't a lot of that. I felt like there was a lot of basic things coming out of Comic-Con, which I still have no problem with. I still bought up plenty of pops, believe me. But this was definitely, like I said, my most cherished piece from Comic-Con this year. The thing that I'm, the like, if I had to have one pop out of everything, this is what I would have chosen. And definitely, definitely, they did a great job. I love how they they pair, they um, spared no expenses. They have all the scars on his face. They even made sure to pay attention to detail and show the rips in his clothing, which are the actual right spots. If you go look at the cartoon or look at any of the other dead Yamcha figures that are in existence. And yes, I do have other dead Yamcha figures. I do have other <laughs> dead Yamcha figures, which is kind of weird. I know, but I'm trying to you know, create a dead Yamcha collection here. But yeah, it's actually pretty accurate where they put the rips in his um, suit and everything, which I thought was really dope. And I like how they made sure to put, you know, his symbol here from where he trained. Right here on the back of his shirt. And of course on the front. So yeah, Funko made a dead Yamcha before they made an alive Yamcha Funko Pop. That's what one person was um, joking about. On my Instagram and if you're not a follower on my Instagram go ahead I'm almost at 10,000 followers I'll be doing a giveaway once I get to 10,000 followers follow me at Funko Pop underscore 912 but I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video enjoy my Funko Pops so this anything that you see around me any of these pops that you see around me that you would like me to unbox besides this beer is here and review for you guys I have no problem doing that just let me know in the comments below be sure to hit that subscribe button. I have tons of more San Diego Comic Con Funko Pop videos coming. I got tons of things in the mail as well as um, I think we have a box of fun on the way from the Funko shop. All types of cool stuff coming soon so be sure to subscribe. And as always, you have a good day YouTube.